I'm gonna kill somebody. I thought Fat Man was over here. I was gonna, I'm gonna, somebody's about to die. <sighs> Alright, so today I am going to get the Corvette aligned. Uh, I don't know if they're going to let me film there yet or not, but uh, I'm just going to do kind of a, just a quick video. Um, I forgot to do something yesterday when I was getting it ready to go. Uh, I forgot to check the tire pressure, so I'm going to do that right now. The readings were all over the place. Uh, my dad told the tire shop to do it at 35 and they didn't. This front one right here, Alright guys, so I'm back from the alignment shop. I decided not to film because they said it was going to be, at the time they said it was going to be like two hours and then we were only going in for front end alignment and then they had to do the back because it was all out of whack and stuff. So that took like five or six hours or something. So I'm glad I didn't stay because that would have been boring. But um, it's all back and it's all aligned. It looks like they put a little bit of camera on it, which I like. I like that, but not too much. I think it's like 0 0.5, half a degree, half a degree. but uh, it drives good and all, but I did come across a problem on the test drive was that my blinkers are doing some weird stuff again. So I'll show you what it's doing briefly. Okay, so car's on. Now, if you can see on that, it's a solid light. And then when I do the other one, and nothing comes on, but the blinker still works. So I'm pretty sure the bulb in here is, is burnt out. That's not a big problem. I've taken that out before. But when I put it down, so it's on, they're solid. Now it used to be blink, 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 solid, and then it start blinking again. Now they're just solid on both sides. When I turn, do the other blinker too, and it's up up front too. Other blinker on, and you can see it's just solid. So I do not know quite what that is, so I'm trying to figure it out. Now, I looked it up, and some people were saying that it was the the flasher, like fuse, so I replaced that, it was like five bucks, didn't do anything. So I, I did that just now, it was just like that little round thingy, just unplugged it, put a new one in, didn't help very much, so it didn't help at all. So now I'm down on the passenger side and I'm looking for a directional switch somehow connected um, and I'm trying to figure that out but here let me put the hazards on real quick so the hazards are on and you can see normally both of those blink left and right but just that one so I'm pretty sure that bulbs burnt out that's not not a problem but when you come to the back the hazards blink but the blinkers don't blink now, this is a consistent blink 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 doesn't go solid and it's up front as well See? Yeah, see? 
steady blink. So we're cracking into this, trying to figure this out. So oh, it's supposedly down here somewhere, but not quite sure what I am looking for exactly. Um, so I'm just gonna look around up here, see if I can find anything. All right, so the door's a little squeaky, so I'm gonna. That's not squeak it. I'm gonna leave it up anyways. Alright, hopefully that does the trick for that. Oh gosh. Oh jeez. Oh dear. That is just nasty. What is that? Ooh. Gross. What is that? Huh. All right, let's try some more. Oh, dear. Move it up some more. Oh, you're fully lube, man. There we go. Can't see that bad out there. That's all good. Back to the regularly scheduled program. Alrighty y'all, so apparently there is a, it's called a directional turn, directional turn signal flasher or something like that. Um, and it looks like this. This is what I pulled out from the fuse box, which is the hazard flasher. So there's another one of these similar to this. I don't think it's the same number, but I'm gonna check. On this side, I might have to go back to the, the auto parts store, which closed, or just wait till tomorrow. But I'm gonna try to find that dap down here. It should be over here somewhere. Alrighty. And there you have it, right there. Oh, it's the same one. Cool. So, this one I have right here. It's a little crushed. I had to grab it with some pliers, but it should still work. So, let's take that off and see what it does. All right, so. Just make sure the ignition's off when you're doing this stuff. All right guys, so I unplugged it and there's this little thingy on here that looks like an M80. My dad says it's something to do with like, if there's too much power going through it, it'll cut off or something. But that kind of just tucked onto the, the prongs like so. So I have this one that I crushed. I'm going to install that one and just see if it works. If it does, I will go back to the store and buy another one of these because it was five bucks, so you know. Let's take a test on this. Let's take a test and see if this works. All right. All right, so get a closer look. You can see that stuff's all plugged in. Like so. It's a little stinky down there. Hopefully the car's not burning down. All right, let's test the blinkers out. All right. 
Hey, it's blinking. Oi! Hey, it's blinking. Good deal. Good deal. It looks like it's still blinking. Other side. Dash light not working. Like I hear it clicking. Cool. Oh, sorry guys. There we go. So it's working. Sweet. So it looks like I figured it out. Let's just test the hazards for good measure. I hope you guys aren't getting sick watching me run around. Okay. Hazards on? There we go. Yep. So I guess that bulb's burned out. I might do that now. I might do that later. It works. And this is just a little dented from some pliers. But I think I'm just going to put it back in because it works fine. If it breaks again, it wasn't that hard to replace. So I'll just get one if I, if I need to. But yeah, if you have a Corvette, the number is 552. That's for the flasher. So that and that is the same one. So I'm going to tuck that back up and then uh, try to address that light maybe tonight. Alrighty, and it looks like the uh, courtesy lights are connected to that. They've been uh, going on and off lately. I had them fixed and it you wiggle this wire right here and it turns on and then sometimes it turns off and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But I think they look really cool. Here, I'll give you a shot of it. It looks cooler at night, but. All right, so we got the dome light. We got one down there and we got one down there. So at night, it looks really cool because it lights up the whole ground on both sides and then this lights up like the seats and stuff and it kind of you can kind of see through the the t-tops i don't know if i showed you guys these but they are like aviator sunglasses you can see through them from the top but then if you look at the top i mean you can still kind of see through them but they're reflective see mirror hello you guys and then come up through and they're see-through see, -through, see? Oop, like that and then mirrored pretty cool huh that's uh Indianapolis 500 only. So yeah, pretty cool. Normally they're uh, normally those are just painted the body color and the fiberglass. These are glass and they're tinted with a like a, I don't know what the, the name of it is like one way or whatever. So I got the turn signal stuff working. I am going to do the dash uh, light thing some other day. Um, so yeah, uh, if you like the video, please leave a like. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you aren't subscribed, please consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.